about four o'clock in the morning. I am heading out, hitting the trail, going on a quest. Just about done pumping this gas, about ready to go. Another interesting find here, and uh, this is a manzanita tree. So I did a little bit of a deeper dive on the Arctostaphylus petula, or the manzanita tree. It's got sclerophyllic leaves, which means they're hard. Sclero, Greek root word, means hard. Phylon is leaf. And they stand parallel to the sunlight, oblique to the sunlight. And that is basically to avoid getting super hot and losing a bunch of moisture. It's how they're able to, to survive in these very dry xeric environments. Now, they're also evergreen. This is interesting. They're an evergreen plant, but they have deciduous bark. Yeah, they've got this very red, flaky, peely type of uh, texture on the bark. So that red, peeling, flaky bark, it peels off and they will grow new bark, but those uh, sclerophyllic leaves will always be there. And in spring, you'll have little pink bell-shaped flowers that are super, super sticky and super sticky little fruits. And those fruits, if you find them and they're green, you can eat them raw. They're like little apples, the manzanita, and there you go. And I, I use the term tree loosely. Uh, we're out in the desert. This, what would normally be, be much more like a tree. Sitting out here in the desert, it's, uh, it's a lot shrubbier. So it's a hell of a lot smaller. And these grow up in the Angeles Crest. Uh, these are a protected plant here in California, so you're not allowed to take any part of it or, or get seeds from it or anything like that. And they are, I mean, absolutely beautiful. Keep on moving, baby. But yeah, you know, like, for me, hiking, just getting out of the house is, it's a way to just like feel peaceful. And simply, that's it. Just to feel peaceful, man. Just to get away from the noise and away from the clutter of the city and just go, you know? So all these rock formations that you see around here, this is the same stuff that you're gonna find in Joshua Tree. I'm probably about a half an hour away from where Joshua Tree is, or where it starts anyway. It's called Monzo Granite. And basically what it is, is it's, you know, millions and millions of years old. It's lava pools that were underground that had bubbled up to form the shapes that you see and then cooled rapidly. Pool party. And then as the millennia drifted past, everything eroded away around it. And that's why you have these big boulders sticking out. And that's why you'll see some where you have like that. Like who the fuck put that there, right? Hello? Well, my name is uh, Josue Lopez and this is the Silver Dollar Cactus Nursery that my uncle Miguel owns and, and he's had this cactus nursery for over 20 years. And, and we all work here. I work here with my uncle and we sell cactuses here. We have all kinds of cactuses, all kinds of nopales, all kinds of trees. We have all kinds of grass. And it's just a huge cactus nursery that we have here. It's beautiful. And, and many people come here from San Diego. Maybe many people come here from all around the States too. That's awesome. So, yeah, yeah, you guys have got some really cool stuff. I took, but I've been here a few times. And the first time that I came, I had no idea. I've driven past it when I go hiking all the time. And I'm always like, what is that? Like, what? oh yeah. And so finally one day when I was leaving, I decided to stop by here. And I met with your uncle and yes. I was looking around and I found a, it was a Trico Sirius Bergesii. Yes, Bergesii. And, yes. and, uh, and I really liked it and I wanted to get it and, he, and I didn't know it was cash only. And, oh. and uh, I didn't have any cash. <laughs> and he was like, you know what? Just take it. I yeah. want you to have it. That's my uncle. And I was That's like, man, that uncle. was, I'll never forget that. You gotta love that. Right, right where the branches stem from on this Stetsonia, you've got a bird's nest. I wonder what kind of bird lives in there. I'm not a bird person. I really have no clue. We got all these pharaoh cactus over here. Good God. Pretty, look at that guy. Okay, so if you guys want to get a pharaoh cactus for the yard, this pricing is really, really good. Serious Atheops. Give it, boy. This is a Myrtillo cactus. Pretty wild. You've got the V indentation. 
stations still in the plastic that's taken over. Little pups coming off there. Heavy duty spines, but it has got a stressed out stem in there. Hot man, what do you think happened? That is a big, beefy mellow cactus azurus. Look at that Kellen color. Echinofossilocactus, stenocactus, whatever you want to call it. Look at the tephro cactus. That's crazy. I want to buy this thing. Yeah, I've recently started like getting a little more into the mammalarias. Really? Okay. Yeah. And what's your favorite part about the mammalaria? What's what do you like about it? The form, how it grows. I well, number one, I love that mammalarias flower in the winter time. Very beautiful. It's winter Super now, beautiful. and everything yes. else is sort of just there, yes. dormant. Yes. You know, not a lot of excitement in the greenhouse, but the mammalarias stay pushing them out. And I love this, like I love the mammalarias that dichotomize. Okay. So anything that, that does this where it splits heads and it's got pups, yes. I mean, like Maybe. next season I'll, I'll transplant this probably into a bigger pot. <laughs> Later, yeah, brother. Yeah. You too. You have a wonderful day, man. You too, man. Thank you again. We just watched the one and only Cactus Quest.